Today, I'm going to show you the three reasons why action plan fail. I will show you my simple solution to this problem. Are you ready? Let's get it. What is up, beautiful people? For those who don't know me, my name is Max, and I'm just an average guy who is obsessed to become the best version of myself. I will share my tips, tricks, or tech that helped me achieve my goal in the past or in the future on this channel. My mission here is to motivate you to become the best version of yourself day by day. If this is a topic that interests you, make sure to subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell, and smash that like button. In my previous videos, I have talked about how to come up with an action plan. If you have not yet watched it, make sure to check it out. I will insert a card and link in the description down below. For those who have already set out a game plan, good job, good job. Today, I want to help you avoid some of the mistake I made when I started my journey. I used to think that having an action plan will automatically make me achieve my goal. I was way too naive in the beginning of my journey. I see a lot of people who actually struggle with this as well. They have an action plan, but they did not achieve um, the goal that they want to achieve. Why is that? I see three common mistakes why action plan fail for most people, even if they actually follow through with their plan. The first mistake is that the action plan was too hard for them or not aligned to their lifestyle. We all have experience of going to an all-you-can-eat restaurant. When you're starving and you order way too much food that you can actually consume. This is kind of like that. When we come up with our action plan, we were so fired up. Uh, we were so excited at the time when we we're coming up with the action plans and we think that we can conquer the world. This leads us to think we can actually do the stuff that we set out to do, but when push comes to shove, this may not be the case due to the misalignment with our current style or our tolerance level. The second mistake is that the action plan wasn't challenging enough. This tends to happen with people who are very eager to see results and the people who live their life on a faster pace. This is exactly where I was a couple years back. The action plan got easy for me way too quickly and I don't feel challenged at all. The third common mistake is that you stay on the action plan for way too long. This typically happens when your progress has outgrown your knowledge base. You might actually be on a level where you need to learn more on how to accomplish your goal or you need a mentor to actually help you push forward. So how do we avoid these three common mistakes so we can achieve our goal? The answer is follow the fourth out of the five focus points that I talked about on my first video of this series, which is review your game plan periodically. By simply review your own progress of the action plan, you will know how your body is reacting to the changes that you apply to it. I've talked about for a habit to form, it usually goes through a phase, introduction stage, adoption stage, and then normalization stage. For any habit to form, there's also a reward component to it, which I will discuss more in my future video. Within these phases, it will take time for any habit to formulate. That is why when you run an action plan or a program, you should do it for an extended period of time. According to the studies, it would take about 21 days to form a new habit. So I would suggest really don't alter your game plan until you have run it for at least a full month diligently. Except for the people who are experienced the first mistake, which is the action plan was over your head. Your action plan needs to be realistic to your own level. I suggest to get real with yourself ASAP and not to fluff up your own ego. I think dial back a bit on the intensity level may be a good idea. For people who are experiencing the mistake two and three, you should always audit your progress periodically. I can't tell you what is a good time frame because it is very subjective. Some goals take longer to see any sort of results and with some goals, the results come a lot faster. So it's really case by case. But for my weight loss journey, I review my progress of game plan on a monthly basis, just to give you an idea. When you are reviewing your action plans, make sure to ask yourself the following questions. Has my lifestyle changed since? Am I used to the game plan and this action become a norm to me? Can I add another 20% of the intensity to my current action plan? If any of the answer to the question is yes, 
then create new action plan that fits your new circumstances. And congratulations, you have moved forward toward your goal. If you are at a point where you can't progress anymore on your own, consider getting yourself a coach or mentor. There's nothing to be ashamed of to get help. All successful people understand they are not expert on everything. So rather than just to waste time and not seeing any results, seek mentorship and help to leverage your time. This is why continuous learning is so important. Also, surround yourself with supportive, successful, and positive people who will support you with knowledge and positivities you need to push forward. Our objective is to create a long-lasting results with a good habit. By reviewing your progress and alter your game plan periodically, it will definitely help you to form a better habit. The better the habit, the closer you will be towards your goal. Remember, Rome is not built in one day. Okay guys, that's it for enough video. Thank you very much for watching. Start taking small action towards your goal and not to be afraid to make mistakes along the way. And remember, I am here for you. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you have ever experienced the mistakes that we talked about today. Leave a feedback, encouragement, or what would you like to see in the future videos down below. It would be very much appreciated. You can also message me offline if you need any assistance from me. I will do my best to help. So until next time, peace. Baby. Sit. Sit. Woo! Good job, boy. Good job.